rock of Gibraltar has appealed to the imagination of men for centuries. This great military fortress has belonged to Great Britain over 250 years, and today is considered one of the strongest bastions in the world. It is honeycombed with galleries, caves, and 25 miles of tunnels and secret passageways. In World War II, during the invasion of North Africa, General Eisenhower, Allied Commander-in-Chief, had his headquarters in a small room in the heart of the Great Rock. The map shows its important location, commanding the western entrance to the Mediterranean and its relationship to Spain and the North African countries. The rock was a springboard for hundreds of fighter planes during the invasion of North Africa in World War II. People are allowed to climb this high, but barbed wire and signs in three languages warn that they can go no further. The entire town is a fortress, and most of the area is taken up with military installations and barracks. The defense works and arsenals are closely guarded military secrets. Along the edge of the great naval base are docks and warehouses. There are many barracks on the rock, which is crowded with military personnel. Gibraltar has a population of 23,000. A battleship patrols the harbor, and a large passenger ship is at anchor far out in the bay. Tourists will come ashore in tenders. A special visa is required to remain here more than three days, as there's little room for tourists. Higher up on the rock is a residential district with brilliant tropical flowers. the famous Rock Hotel. Charming homes are built at unbelievable angles on the steep streets. At the top of this narrow street, there is a boys' high school and elementary school. The boys coming from school are English, Spanish, and Arab. The civilians called Gibraltarians, are mostly of Spanish descent, and the language of Gibraltar is Spanish. English is studied by the civilians as a foreign language. The girls have separate schools. There are many patriotic squares overlooking the bay. Below is the parade ground for drills and games. Military signs are found in every part of the rock. The governor's house. The governor commands the fortress and is also the civic administrator. The main business street is fascinating because of the many different nationalities that live in this crossroads of the world. Also, there are tourists from foreign lands. Gibraltar is a free port, that is, tax-free, and articles can be purchased cheaper here. There are typical English stores and signs. English tea cakes. an East Indian shop with oriental gifts. North African products. A Spanish store with gay dolls. And French perfumery. Barclays Bank is a bit of old England. Many businessmen use this rock at Gibraltar as a symbol of reliability. The Victoria Hotel, with a red trim, has an ape as its emblem. Flowers and fruit come from neighboring Spain. A 
board chose the current entertainments. In the park, Alameda Gardens, are memorials commemorating the great battles, such as the return of the English fleet after the Battle of Trafalgar. In this park, the Allied victory in World War II was celebrated after over five years of fighting. Children who are carrying their choir robes to church enjoy their shortcut through the park. And stop to watch the Saturday yacht races. On the opposite side of the rock from the town is a wide bathing beach where the soldiers can take their families in the warm summer weather. Life on a fortress must include relaxation from the tension of being constantly alert and ready for action. The old Moorish castle was built in 711 when the Moors first fortified the rock. For 1,000 years they held possession, then lost it to Spain. The Spanish held it only a few years. A colony of Barbary apes roams the upper galleries. No one knows when they came or where they came from. An old legend said that the British would lose the rock if the apes were ever extinct. During World War II, the soldiers respected the superstition of the people, and the rock was well supplied with apes brought from Spanish Morocco. To the right is the strip of land that connects the rock with the Spanish mainland. The airfield is located here, near the frontier. Today there is a soccer game. The Gibraltar field artillery team is competing with the Spanish college team. Soccer is a fast, exciting game. The game is rough. The teams are evenly matched. A good game. Throughout the year, there are many events commemorating the famous battles and old customs. The changing of the keys to the gates is an impressive ceremony and takes place twice a year. In the old days, the keys to the south gates were entrusted only to one military unit at a time, and the gates were locked at night. Officers wait to greet the governor and deliver the keys. The governor gives a brief talk and hands the keys to another unit. gates are locked and the ceremony ends.
the Rock of Gibraltar, proud fortress of the Mediterranean, has a glorious history and is today a vital link in the defense of Great Britain, the world.